If you're creating your business directory website as an investment, you definitely want to do anything you can to monetize it. With the pricing manager add-on from GeoDirectory, you have the ability to create unlimited pricing packages. So your listing owners can pay to upgrade their listings and unlock new features and options. This add-on also supports recurring payments and free trials. In this video, I'll show you how to set all that up. Let's get started. Okay, we're getting started here on your WordPress dashboard. And first thing we have to do is install the add-on. So go ahead and hover over GeoDirectory and then go to extensions. Scroll down to pricing manager and then click install. As you see, this is a paid for one. So if you don't have the subscription, you do have to purchase it and then click activate. And after that's installed, the first thing we do is we have a um, alert that comes up that says pricing manager is in no cart mode. Uh, so you have to set what you want to use to take payments um, for your pricing manager before anyone can pay you. So uh, GeoDirectory gives two options. They give the option for Get Paid um, or WooCommerce. Now WooCommerce is more common, but Get Paid is the cart that um, is made by the same people that made GeoDirectory. So I use Get Paid. So to use one of those, you have to have um, one of those plugins installed. Uh, right now if you if i scroll down here you're going to see that i have get paid installed so when i pop back up here and it says set cart from here i can click that here button or link rather and now where that brings us is to the geo directory settings and the pricing tab and first thing we're going to do is where it says cart settings under cart we are going to choose get paid and then click save changes while we're here, let's look at some other settings. So I'm going to click this button that says show advanced to show everything. Now, the other main option you have on this page is if you want to let your listings expire. Um, if so, this is where you would set those settings for that. I do not want any of my listings to expire um, because what I'm doing is I want to allow the free listings all the time and then let people upgrade for um, an advanced featured listing with more available fields to them. Um, and if not, the, the listing can just stay, stay there and stay free. So I'm going to shut this off because I don't want it to expire. And then I'm gonna click Save Changes. Okay, now that we got that done, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a, a package, a pricing package. Now this is done by custom post type. It's not done for the whole plugin. Um, I do have a video on custom post types, which I will include in the description. Um, but basically geo directory comes installed with one custom post type called places. And then you can also add your own custom post types. So for example, I have one on my site called RV parks. So go ahead and hover whichever custom post type, um, you want to add the pricing to, and then go to settings. And then when you get here, click the tab that says packages. So when you get here, we already have a, a package added by default called free RV park. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that one first. So when we're editing this package, here's some options we have. We have um, the name of the package we can change, um, the title of the package and the price, which since this is free, we're leaving that empty. For the package lifetime, we can put um, how long it, this is good for, uh, when they pay for it. I'm keeping this as zero um, because when you keep it as zero, it's unlimited. It goes forever and um, you would be able to set here if it's reoccurring, but we don't have to do that with the free listing. What we do want to do is we definitely want to exclude some fields and first field we want to exclude is the featured. And then um, for me specifically, I don't want them to be able to add on any of their social media links um, on a free account. And I also don't want them to add their website link and I don't want them to be able to add any videos. Then for status, we're keeping it as active um, and it's currently set as default. I'm just going to leave that um, for now because I don't have any other packages and I'm just going to keep everything else as is and then click save changes. Then I'm going to go back to packages and I want you guys to be aware that when you do make updates here, you want to click this little refresh um, icon to make sure everything gets synced to um, get paid or WooCommerce. 
Now let's go ahead and add the fun package, the one that will make us money. So go ahead and click this add new button up here. And I'm gonna call this featured listing. And I'm gonna leave the title blank because we don't have to fill that in. I might come back and fill that in later for SEO purposes. But for now, I'm just gonna leave that blank. I'm gonna set my price as 149 for every one year. And then I'm gonna click to make this uh, re a recurring payment. Um, I do want you to note that you can change this to um, how often you want this to be recurring for days, weeks, or months, or year. I'm gonna make it year. Um, I'm not going to put a recurring limit on here and I'm not gonna do a free trial, but if you wanna do a free trial, you would just turn the switch on and then put in here how long you want the trial to last for days, weeks, months, or years. Um, but I'm gonna not have that for mine. If they're paying, I'm not gonna exclude any fields, so I'm gonna keep that blank. And then I'm going to turn on this package, make it active. I'm also gonna make it default. Um, because I do want people to default to pay for the full featured listing. And then I'm gonna put the display order as one, and then I'm gonna put the downgrade to the free one, and then I'm gonna keep the paid listing status as default, which is published. When I scroll down, um, everything else is good. The payment form is going to be the default checkout, and um, for custom prices, I'm not letting them create their own custom prices, so I'm just gonna keep that off. If you wanna learn about um, setting up Get Paid and uh, the checkout forms and everything and putting all that together, I did make a video on that already, so I will um, link that in this video and in the description below. When you're done here, click Save Changes. And then let's just go ahead and go back to packages and edit that uh, free listing um, just to make sure it is um, not set as the default package and it's on display order two. And then when that's done, I'm gonna hit save changes and then go back to packages and then refresh my changes. So I do wanna note that you can um, use GeoDirectory to set it up so they have the ability to claim their listings but they have to pay for it or they have to sign up for one of the packages if they want to claim their listings. Uh, I am making a video to um, to show you how to do that, that is the next video on my list. So once I get that done, I will link that in the description below. But for now, this is how you set up payment packages with GeoDirectory with the pricing manager add-on. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment below. And if you're making your own website, don't forget to check my description for a freebie download website roadmap to show you exactly what you have to do. Thank you so much for watching.